Hello, this is Amjad Al Mandelawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a session on how to deal with a plaque in acute coronary syndrome. We all know that acute coronary syndrome is mostly caused by plaque rupture. Of course, there are other causes including plaque erosion and calcified nodule, but the majority are caused by plaque rupture. When the plaque ruptures, a small part of the intima is displaced. This part could be, could be very large in ulcerative plaque. Normally, wiring through the lesion is not difficult. However, on occasions when there is rupture of the plaque, the, fi the wire may find itself into this rupture part. And if some force, and this is if, if not recognized, and some force is used, further adv advancement of the wire can lead to dissection. Look at this angiography of a patient with ACS. There are two proximal LED critical lesion with some haziness. The same is seen in the cranial view. In the areocodal view, the wire passed the proximal part and it looks intraluminal. However, it, no, it was not progressing. Cranial view showed that, that the wire is in, inside the plaque, is stuck inside the plaque. Here, we can either keep the wire in place and take another wire or try to redirect the wire. Multiple redirections was needed in this case to pass into the true lumen, and then finally it was successful in doing PCI for the patient. In another case, the RCA was involved. Some force, some force was used by the operator to pass the wire. The wire passed easily up to the distal part of the vessel. It actually caused extensive dissection. And this is a lesson that easy passage of the wire across the entire length of the vessel does not always mean that it's intraluminal, especially in acute coronary syndrome. In another patient with post-semi angina found, found to have dominant circumflex with subtotal occlusion, it looks like a piece of cake lesion. The first wire, which was a BMW wire, was stuck at the lesion and the true lumen could not be negotiated. The first wire was left in place and the Pilot 50 wire was used with different tip curves and different coronary and geographic views were used. We notice that we are only increasing the dissection. Some staining appears before the bifurcation. The flow is, was compromised and the patient had chest pain. At this patient, at this point, we were lucky because the dissection segments was short and stopped at the bifurcation. So we, we resorted to CTO wire technique to puncture the flap. And this is a pilot 200 wire was used to puncture the flap. The artery was saved. The reason why I made this presentation because I observed that plaque disruption by PCI wire is not well recognized and simple cases are turned into nightmares. Look at this beautiful RCA with mid-subtotal occlusion and some plaque ulceration. It was clear from the beginning that the wire is going into the plaque and dissecting its way. Yet, the operator kept pushing hard. And finally, this beautiful artery was lost, maybe forever. So the recommendation is that first, when you find a near total occlusion, take multiple views to identify a micro channel that you can negotiate by the wire. Look at this circumflex with distal subtotal occlusion in a patient with angina. If your wire is stuck at the lesion, like in this case, don't fight the lesion. Redirect the wire. If still there is resistance, put another wire. Keep the first wire in place. Take another wire. Look here where the second wire made its way through the true lumen and pass distally. And this is the final result. And thank you.